In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Today, having done the series from Tuesday, I want to conclude by sharing with you three ways of living a productive Christian life. Three ways of living a productive Christian life. We call them the three G's, the three G's of effective Christianity. The three G's of effective Christianity. The first one, God attentive. The second one, God dependent. The third one, God responsive. Being God attentive is focused on how we learn to have a lifestyle that is spiritually sensitive to his leading in our lives. John chapter 10 refers to God as the good shepherd and describes his sheep as knowing his voice and following him. So we want to ask our, our, ourselves, am I hearing the voice? And if I'm hearing the voice, what am I doing with that voice? Remember, there are so many voices out there. And there could be reason that the, the voice you've been listening is not his voice. So, you cannot be God attentive and at the same time miss his voice. It is not possible. It's just like telling me that a toddler, a toddler will miss the voice of the mother. No. You would imagine a toddler, small as the, the fellow is, and maybe in the midst of women, all of them talking, but this tiny fellow will recognize the voice of the mother when the mother speaks. When the mother speaks, then you, you can see that uh, the young one has heard, that's my mom, that is my mother. That's what we are, we are being asked. How God attentive are we? No wonder we keep on saying that we were, we were conned. I was conned in church. This and this was done to me because maybe you are used to listening to the wrong voice. Number two, being God dependent is focused on how we are learning to walk in the Holy Spirit. In Galatians chapter 5, Paul writes about the fruit of the Holy Spirit in our lives. Near the end of the chapter, it reads, Since we are living by the Spirit, let us follow the Spirit's leading in every part of our lives. Another version reads, Keeping in step with the Spirit. My dear good people, who is leading you? Who is leading you? The tragedy we have today is that uh, we have diverted our attention from God and we are now dependent on people and their institutions. And I have said this so many times. Some of us are more into our spiritual leaders than we are into Christ. We are more dependent on the words and counsel that comes from our spiritual leaders that we have forgotten the word of God. That is tragic. So, who are you depending on? Who is controlling your life? Have you heard of people who mess their families because of a certain pastor, a certain priest, a certain oracle, 
a certain apostle, a certain prophet, a certain prophetess, a certain seer, have you? They are there out in their numbers. That is what happens when we depend on what others say in contradistinction to what God is saying. Finally, being God dependent is focused on how we are, sorry, that is, that is number, number two, number three, being God responsive is focused on how we are growing to walk by faith. Growing to walk by faith, you know, to follow those leadings and promptings and learn to hear his voice clearly. Second Corinthians 5, 7 reminds us, for we walk by faith, not by sight. When we are God responsive, we are able even to have a conversation with him. And we tell him about our deep concerns, our deep pains, and our deep thoughts. It's a lady who, who challenged me by her strong faith. Just the other day. She told me that uh, one day she was praying for a child. And she had taken quite a good number of years. And people had started maybe to, to mock her. She would jump from one guy to the other. And she told me that one day in her moment of prayer, she told God, eh, God, I have changed so many doctors, but one thing remained const constant. I never changed you. I know you can't be defeated. And her story ended there. And that was the start of a journey of nine months of pregnancy. And now she has a child. That's a woman who has a special connection with her father. That's a woman who has learned what it means to be God-responsive, God-dependent, and God-attentive. He knows when he says, he has said. If he calls, I will answer. It is easy not to walk by faith. It is even much easier to fall into walking by what we can see, trusting our eyes and physical senses more than we trust what God reveals to us. Dear good people, we need to be filled with God's word if we desire to walk intimately with him and hear his voice. Please note that. His word and his spirit will always be in unison with each other. So, walking in the Holy Spirit will also include allowing the word of God to dwell in us. Allowing the word of God to dwell in us. We will allow the word of God to be part of our life. In fact, our lifestyle will be biblical. The word of God will be our lifestyle. 